Thank you and good evening to friends, colleagues, esteemed colleagues. Um, thank you for being here. It's wonderful to have you. Um, I thought I would start with a bit of improvisation in Avaz Abu Atal, which I'll briefly explain in a bit. Um, before anything, before I uh, play a little bit more on the sitar, I thought I would just introduce the instrument really briefly. And I have a diagram up there. So the instrument that I'm playing, it's called sitar. Sitar. Um, uh, it's a Persian word, which literally means three string. A fourth one was added. Um, so till about 100 years ago, this instrument had three string, and you would get the older sound more like this. Or you would hear a lot of the nail you play with your index finger hitting the surface of the instrument. But a fourth string was added um, to give it more of a rich sound, quote unquote, um, to get more of this feeling. <coughs> And also, it's tuned differently depending on what you're playing. So, um, I just basically wanted to really quickly introduce the instrument. Um, play it with your index finger, you have a bit of nail, sometimes you use your thumb. Other than that, it has about 24 to 27 movable frets. Um, some of them are four, um, the rotations are there four, and some of them are three, depending on what you're playing, and there is a significance to that. Um, you do move them around and different master musicians have a different taste on them like they, some of them want a little bit more um, sharper some of them a little bit more flat so that's the purpose of it and it's really important to have these really nicely tuned so I thought that was helpful um, from here on as the program says I'm going to modulate and play a little bit in Avaze Avaze Svahan sorry so um
if I may. Thank you. And I really briefly will um, just introduce the tar, as you can see the picture. The left hand is to some extent similar, although the um, strings are coarse, they're double, except the top of the top two are different, so you tune them differently depending on what you're playing. Um, you use a pluck trim called the Mesrop to play, skin, bridge. The um, rest of it is kind of, to some extent, standard, I guess. Um, um, this is made of mulberry. Often the top is cherry or some kind of wood that doesn't warp um, quite, well, doesn't warp over time. I thought for the conclusion, I would just briefly, really briefly explain the modal system of Iranian music really quickly. Iranian uh, music, traditional music, as it's called in Iran, Museri Sonati, is based on what we call the radiv, this collection of melodies, what's called row or an order, basically. Before, about 100 years ago, Iranian music was uh, called, uh, was based on a maram system. You would play, you would, for instance, say, master musicians would apparently say, play maram mukhalef charga. So they would say the name of the daska, which I'll explain in a second, but they specifically tell you what they wanted to play, right? So you would play. But over time that changed and they could credit that to two master musicians. I just have the names here in case um, you're interested. There is Mirza Abdullah and his son um, on, my, uh, on my right and then is all saying Wali and his son, who's also a famous, famous um, musician. So just those names are there for your reference if you need to look them up. So Iranian music is based on the radif, and we have 12 different daskas or avazes, and getting into them is quite complex and we need more time. Um, basically, there are a um, number of melodies um, and patterns, rhythmic or melodic patterns, that you memorize over time and you play them and based on that you improvise. I just wanted to for a few minutes um, improvise in Awaz Afshari which is the last thing um, on the program and just very briefly explain how things evolve. Um,
So, um, thank you. Yeah. I'll be very quick. I just wanted to say the reason why I picked those four is that the first one, Daryl Mag, needs an introduction, um, sort of coming into a place. Um, and Iranian music, if you play it traditionally, starts with a Daryl Mag, right? And if we were to play it, this particular Allah's. <laughs> Just think about this note. Anyhow, you could improvise on that, you could play it rhythmically, you could play it um, um, in different ways. Then the second one I have there um, is based on a particular melody, which sort of um, And the last one, which is, um, if you particularly, if you're a singer, if you're able to sing that, that's really the climax of this particular Allah's. So if you notice, things completely change. journey and move away from the beginning which is the Daryl Mad and then to the climax and then eventually you got to come back to where you start from and that's the beauty of Persian music. I hope that was helpful to some extent. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.